Rising above vulgar prejudice, the slave-holding rebel accepts the aid of the black man as readily as that of the other. If a bad cause can do this, why should a good cause be less wisely conducted? We insist upon it that one black regiment in such a war as this, without being any more brave or orderly, would be worth to the government more than two of any other. And that, while the government continues to refuse the aid of the colored men, thus alienating them from the national cause and giving the rebels the advantage of them, will not deserve better fortunes than it has thus far experienced. Men in earnest don't fight with one hand when they might fight with two, and a man drowning would not refuse to be saved even by a colored hand.